Welcome. We'll see how to place railings in Revit architecture. In Revit architecture, railings will include predefined top rails, handrails, and balusters. So here simply we can place the railings in which level we want to place. On architecture tab, here we can find the option called railings. So first we need to select the level in which level we want to place. So now for this roof, I want to place the railings on four sides. So select the roof. From properties palette, check the base level. So base level of roof is level 2. So now from project browser, under floor plans, double click on level 2. Now select the option called railing. So after selecting, here we can see draw tool has got enabled. We can select any one of the profile to create the railing. So here I am selecting the pick line option so that we can pick the boundaries of the railing easily. So here I am selecting pick line option. So we can use the rectangular line also. So pick line method will be the easy one to create the railings. So now here we can select the all boundaries of the roof. So select, select. So if you want to create on only three sides by leaving one side. So you can select only three sides of the roof. So up to which extent you need. That also you can do it. So after selecting the boundaries. So here click on finish. So now here in 3D view we can view how railing has been created. So switch to 3D view. So here we can see how the railing has been created. So it's exactly placed on the roof. So here we can see a simple railing with a, a top rail rectangular shape and this also balusters in the rectangular shape. We can change the profile. We can change the shape of the balusters and the top rail has our requirement to change that select the railing from edit type sorry from properties palette click on edit type so here we can see top rail rectangular so if you click on that here we got a small icon click on that here we can see <coughs> profile rectangular so here we can select circular, elliptical, square in which shape we want C shape. So select any one of them. Then here we can apply the material also, material for the top rail. So uh, selecting carpet, then click OK, then apply OK. So in the same way, here we can see handrail 1 and 2. So which one we want we can select the same profile. Which profile we need select then OK apply. So here we can see the top rail has been changed to circular and the material has been applied carpet. And now here we have seen this simple railing type right railing 1100 mm in this also we have different types families so here click on this railing under this here we can find see glass panel we have a glass railing also select so here we can see how the railing has been changed to glass So in the same way we have types here 900 mm pipe 900 mm so here I am selecting 900 mm pipe so here we can see 900 mm pipe has been placed. So for this also we can change this balusters top rail in the same way we need to select the railing then from properties palette edit type so here we can see 
top rail circular this handles we can change after changing click on ok so if we want to create different profiles also we can create with the help of massing and side with the help of mass tool we can create our customized balusters and we can place over here so not only in the level 2 we can place the railings wherever we need in which level we want to place so in level 1 also in front of the main door also we can place the railing so here I'm switching to level 1 then select the railing option so here if I use pick line option the complete line it will take here we need to leave the space where the stairs has been placed so for that we can use the line option only and we can pick the end point from here to this corner then finish so once again select the railing option line from this corner to this corner then click on finish so here in 3d view so here we can see how the railing has been created so here we have learnt how to place the railings and how to change the type of railings and how to change the shape of the balusters and the top railing thank you